Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Here's a good news for all those who use Apple in the US. Apple Pay Later is now live for select users. Here you can see the press release by Apple where they are stating the same fact. Apple introduces Apple Pay Later to allow consumers to pay for purchases over time. Apple Pay users can split purchases into four payments with zero interest and no fee. We'll discuss more about the same in this video, so stay tuned. Here you can see the snapshot of the Apple Pay later. So Apple today introduced Apple Pay later in the US designed with users financial health in mind. Apple Pay later allows users to split purchases into four payments spread over six weeks with no interest and no fee. Users can easily track, manage and repay their Apple Pay Later loans in one convenient location in Apple Wallet. Users can apply for Apple Pay Later loans of $52,000 which can be used for online and in-app purchases made on iPhone and iPad with merchants that accept Apple Pay. Starting today, Apple will begin inviting select users to access a pre-release version of Apple Pay Later with plans to offer it all you eligible users. So to get started with Apple Pay later, users can apply for a loan within wallet with no impact to their credit. They will then be prompted to enter the amount they would like to borrow and agree to the Apple Pay later terms. A soft credit pull will be done during the application process to help ensure the user is in a good financial position before taking on the loan. After a user is approved, they will see the pay later option when they select Apple Pay at checkout online and in apps on iPhone and iPad and can use Apple Pay later to make a purchase. Once Apple Pay later is set up, users can also apply for a loan directly in the checkout flow when making a purchase. These are the snapshots from the Apple Wallet. Apple Pay later is built right into Wallet so users can seamlessly view, track and manage all of their loans in one place. With Apple Pay later in Wallet, Users can easily see the total amount for all the other existing loans as well as the total amount due in the next 30 days, as you can see in the screenshot. They can also choose to see all upcoming payments on a calendar view in the wallet to help them track and plan their payments. Before a payment is due, users will also receive notifications via wallet and email so they can plan accordingly. Users will be asked to link a debit card from wallet as their loan repayment method to help prevent users from taking on more debt to pay back loans. Credit cards will not be accepted. Apple Pay Later was designed with privacy and security at its core. Purchases that you do using Apple Pay Later are authenticated using Face ID, Touch ID or a passport. And users' transactions and loan history are never shared or sold to third parties for marketing and advertising okay for those who want to know more about apple pay later it is offered by apple financing llc a subsidiary of apple inc which is responsible for credit assessment and lending apple financing plans to report apple pay later loans to u.s credit bureaus starting this fall so they are reflected in users overall financial profiles and can help promote responsible lending for both the lender and the borrower. Apple Pay Later is available in the US for online and in-app purchases on iPhone and iPad. Apple Pay Later is available with iOS 16.4 and iPad OS 16.4. Let me know if you have any questions, I'll answer all of them down below. Thanks.